Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a data store system. It will include a leader stats, saving data when the player leaves, and loading data when the player joins. So the first thing you'll need is a script inside the server script service. Uh, this is actually all we will need. And in here, you just wanna get this service, the data store service. And this variable here, this uses data store service and it creates a new data store basically for the player or whoever it's going to be and we just saw that as a variable uh, i'll show you where we use that in just a, just a second next thing we will need is this chunk of code here so one second let me just take that out so this is okay this fires when the player joins uh, as you can see here play added connect function so it'll fire everything inside of here when the player joins and this is just the parameter for the player so this is the player that has joined we will create a new leader stats inside of the player which is if you don't know this basically just creates like this is how you get like the leaderboard on the on the right side where you can see the players and all of their like numbers and values and stuff that they have this is like what simulator games do this is just creating a folder inside of the player so it would be right here inside of the player and then we're just creating two values inside of it I'm making two just so I can show you how you can store multiple. Uh, but yeah, we just want to use instance.new int value because in this case I'm only going to be storing numbers. Uh, you can do strings, you can do whatever you want here. It will save in the data store. So yeah, we're going to create these two. And the next thing we need is this function here. This is the function that will save the data when the player leaves. So the key is we're going to use the user ID just so it's as exact as it can be uh, next this is where we're actually gonna this is like the most important part here so this is sort of like a template I guess template and in here we can just put whatever we want so for this example we've got coins and we set that equal to the player dot leader status dot coins value this is where we actually save the the things so we create this uh, table I suppose and this is what we will actually set uh, inside of the player data, the data store that we created. This is what we will actually put in there. And inside of this table, we will just have all the things that we want to save. So in this case, it's coins and gems. You can add more. You can even have like, uh, say, kills if you want. And you just do player.leader stats dot kills the value. This is assuming you have another thing for the kills. Okay. So if you want kills you can just do this and now we will save kills as well yep simple enough and then yeah we just chuck this inside of here and it will save when we leave and the reason we put it in a p call is in case it doesn't uh it doesn't succeed in case there's some kind of issue and it doesn't actually save your data uh, in this case nothing really happens if uh, your data doesn't save but this is just a simple data store uh, in the case of like more advanced data store, you would have continuous saving that would it, it would occur like every minute, every couple minutes or something like that. You know. The next thing we need is this function. This is the function to load the data when the player joins. Uh, similar thing, you would just get the player like this, or you set that as the, the key, because th so we can find the player inside of the the, the data store that we made up here. And what, what this basically does uh, sets so the key is it just sets the player underscore player use dot user id it sets that to be like a value inside of the data store so then you just get it here and then from this key you will just get all of the data that is under that player basically because this is set to our player okay and here we are okay if it was a success and there was data all it will do is it will go inside of the retrieve data, which the retrieve data is just this table here. So it will just do, uh, it will set the player leader stats things like we have down here that we, we created. It will just set these equal to the data that we got, which is this. So it will set the coins value in the leader stats to the retrieve data dot coins. So this one. And let me just add the kills real quick. So player.leader stats dot kills dot value is retrieve data dot kills okay and yeah we also need to add it here in case there is no data so yeah if it's a success it will set all of these 
If not, it'll just set them to a base value of zero. And the final part is just this, similar to what we have here. But this time it's when the player leaves and all it will do is it will just fire the function to save the data when the player leaves. That's it. And the actual final thing that we've, this bit of code in here, which I took out earlier. So we will just call the load data uh, function when the player joins. One thing I forgot to mention, and I'm just going to put it in now, is you have to turn this on. You have to go game settings, security, and turn studio access to API services. If this is, is not on, then as you can see here, you can't use data stores. So now if we press play, uh, what's this? I probably just did something wrong here. Yeah, I didn't capitalize that. Yeah, that's my bad. So I'll just, there we go. Okay, there we go. So I'll just quickly change the values. You have to go to the server for this. And we'll just put this to seven, two and 15. See, they changed. Now I'll stop, start again. There we go, they saved. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed.